Hey everyone, Chas from Chas's Crazy Creations here. Today is Craft Challenge Day and I'm teaming up with Mona from Craft Clatch and we are doing our craft challenge called Craft or Crap. You decide. And be sure to stay tuned till the end because there's a giveaway coming. Okay, and here are the basic rules. We had to get our item from the thrift store, we had to use plaid products, and it had to be a flower craft. What, there's a materials list? Look for the link in the description below. So what did I pick? Well, the possibilities were really endless and it was so hard to decide. But in the end, I ended up picking something that everybody has in their home so that anybody can do this project if they'd like. So I picked a plain Borg, just standard vase. I love these vases because you can do so many different things with them. And for this project, we're going to start off by cleaning the vase. So I washed it, removed all the labels, and now I'm gonna clean it with an alcohol prep pad to remove it of any debris, oil, anything like that that's on the item. And for my plaid products, I'm going to be using Apple Barrel Multi-Surface Paint. I needed a paint that would stay on glass, and this is it. So I'll be able to paint this on the glass, following the instructions, and have it last. So I'm gonna start with the color Mountain Forest. It's a darker green and I'm just gonna create some stems with the paint and I just had fun with it. I didn't have anything in mind. I just kinda let the brush go whatever direction it wanted to and I did this around the entire vase. Then I grabbed a thicker and kind of a more bristly brush and I dipped that in the paint and I just kind of blotted it on over the top of the stems that I had created to kind of create some leaves. Now. You can be more precise with your leaf shape if you wanted. I was going for some texture, so I just kept blotting around randomly in different places on the stems until I kind of got the look that I was going for. And then I let the stems dry for a little bit. I wanted to make sure that it was good and dry before I moved on to the next step. Now, I went back in with some Apple Barrel Multi-Service True Green, and I layered that on top of the stem and the leaves because I wanted to give it a little bit more color and dimension to it. So I just used little brush and I kind of made some extra grass around the bottom and added some accents around with the leaves. Next, I'm gonna be using Folk Art Enamel Paint, which is also good for glass in the color Yellow Light. So I grabbed a Q-tip for this step because I wanted to be a little more precise and I wanted to create the center of each flower. So I dipped the Q-tip into the yellow paint and then I dabbed it all over in random places on the vase so that I could just kind of aim where I wanted the flowers to be on this vase. So here's a little look at all the yellow dots and I went ahead and let that dry a little bit before I added the petals. So now I'm gonna use Apple Barrel Multi-Service Paradise Pink Paint. So I liked the control that I had with the Q-tip. So instead of using a paintbrush, I decided to continue with the Q-tip. And I dipped it in the pink paint and then I added five little petals around my little yellow dot, which was the center of the flower. And then I did this and just created several pink flowers around the entire vase, just going randomly and not in any particular order or design. Next, I'm using Folk Art Enamel Paint again, and this time it is called Perfect Purple. And for this one, I did the same thing. I dipped a Q-tip in and then just tapped five little petals around each of the yellow dots, filling in more flowers along the space. For the next set of flowers, I'm doing Apple Barrel Multi-Service Paint in the color Electric Blue. So each time I started with a clean Q-tip, and I was using both sides so that I wasn't being wasteful and I would just make more petals for the flowers with each color. So I'm currently making the blue and I'll go around and randomly put those onto the glass, filling up all of the flower petals. Next, I'm using Apple Barrow Multi-Surface Paint in the color white. Okay, so this one reminds me a little bit of daisies and that is one of my favorite flowers. What is your favorite flower? Let me know in the comments below. So I realized I wanted to do some sort of sunflower look, so I'm using Apple Barrel Multi-Surface Paint in the color Chocolate Sprinkle, and then Apple Barrel Multi-Surface Paint in the color Lemon for the next flower. So I went over some of the yellow dots that were left and painted the brown over the top of them because I wanted the center um, of the flower to be brown for this one, and I did that over just a few of the yellow dots. Then I added the yellow petals around the brown dots, kind of like sunflowers. And I think this is just a great way to show that even if you change your mind about something, you know, 
you can always fix it. You can always paint over the top of it or erase and redo. There are a lot of ways to fix something if you aren't happy with the result. And for this color, I'm gonna be using Apple Barrel Multi-Surface Outrageous Orange. And this was the last of the colored petals that I added. So last dip into the paint and five petals around each of the remaining little yellow dots to create that final flower around my vase. So here it is all finished and I'm gonna go ahead and let this paint dry. Now you can follow the package instructions and you can either bake it so that it cures faster or you can let it air dry for a set number of days. Just depends upon the paint you use. Now, I would love to know in the comments what you think. Okay, but I'm not done yet. So I have this mason jar that I also picked up at the thrift store. So another option for a vase, but let's say hand painting is just a challenge for you. You're not sure you wanna do that. So I have an alternative choice for you that might be a little bit easier. And that's with Apple Barrel Multi-Surface Paint Pens. So just like before, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I've cleaned my glass, washing it, cleaning it off with a rubbing alcohol prep pad, and now I'm ready to begin. So I'm gonna give the pen a little shake and then you press it up and down to get the paint flowing into the tip. So I started with the green paint pen and just drew some of the random stems just like before. I had a little more control rather than using a paintbrush with these pens, which I liked. I drew on some leaves and then I grabbed another lighter shade of green and added some extra leaves onto it as well. Then just like before, I used the yellow paint pen and I made the little dots to be the center of each flower. And I used a blue paint pen to make the petals around several of the first set of flowers. Then next I used a pink paint pen and did the same thing, making several flowers with it. I followed that up with the purple paint pen, making the next set of flowers. I used an orange paint pen to make some more flowers. And then lastly, the white paint pen to make my favorite daisy flowers. And now I'm gonna wait for this little mason jar to dry completely. Now I might put a coat of dishwasher safe Mod Podge over it to protect it depending upon what I'll be using it for. So here's a look at both faces. Which one is your favorite and why? And how would you do it differently? But wait, I have one more to show you. So this is actually a glass that I got from the dollar store. And for this one, what I did was I painted on with a paintbrush with the green paint a little stem. And then after that, I used my thumb and made two thumbprints to make the leaves on either side. So therefore, it's my thumbprint, which I liked. Well, then I painted the center with my pinky to make the little yellow center. And then my kids helped make the flowers. So my son's favorite color is red. So he did that part. And my daughter's favorite color is blue. So I created a thumb plant a thumbprint flower with them to create this beautiful glass and then I let it cure and I use it all of the time. Now, I bet you thought I was done. No, I am not. But while I'm at it, I wanna know if you'd like to be notified of future videos. If you do, look for the link in the description below. Now you might be thinking, what can I do with all of these? So one idea would be to use it as a vase and stick your flowers in it or your faux flowers in it. Or perhaps another idea would be to place it on a bookshelf and use it as a bookend. You might want to weight it with some sand or some marbles inside first. You could use it to hold office supplies like pens, pencils, scissors, and more. You can even place silverware on it. Use it to bring silverware outside or just keep it on your table for easy grab and eat. Use your vase to hold fruit or maybe even some grab and go snacks. Use it in the kitchen to hold some of your utensils, leaving it close to grab while you're cooking. Add a candle to it and create some ambiance in your room. You can use it in your bathroom as well. Use it to hold cotton balls, Q-tips, or any sort of supplies. Now for the giveaway. There's multiple ways to enter and all of the details are in the link in the description below. So now be sure to hop on over to Mona from Craft Clutches Project You'll see the link in the description and it's right here for you to click on as well and see what her project is. And let us know. We want to know. You get to decide. Is it craft or crap? And be sure to check out Plaid Online and all of their amazing products and use code CHAS123 for a discount. So we hope that you will participate in our craft or crap challenge. And if you do, we'd love to see your projects. So you can share it on Instagram with the hashtag craft or crap and tag Craft Clatch or Chassis Crazy Creations. We'd also love for you to join our Facebook group at Craft or Crap. 
You can find all of the links and information in the description below. Want to be notified of future craft or crap challenges? Look for the link in the description below. And I hope this inspires you to create some flower crafts of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chasscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Want 21 sensible home hacks to make you a smarter homeowner? Look for the link in the description below.